Ja. Goeiemorgen mensen. Alright, last video was now 41 days ago. I sculpted the lawn. I then proceeded to sculpt it another two more times, so three times in total, in the week following that. But then I got sick. I was in bed for five days. I then recovered for another week. So yeah, time has flown by and the yard's looking a little bit worse for wear. Part of the reason is that I had the irrigation lines installed, so we've dug uh, this is quite a deep trench. You can see that's the trench that the dogs cut out for me during the holidays. This trench here is the six zones, if I remember correctly. Uh, basically from there, uh, running down the yard now. So we've got a rainbow 5004 there, there, the bottom of the yard, uh, and then another three on that side, plus one in the corner. Just to touch up that last little area there. Um, but yeah, that whole area there was dug out. I'll show you that as well. I told the garden service I had them mowing in the last couple of weeks, but that mower of theirs is not, it is not so lacquer. You see this, this is what's prompted me wanting to get back to the, the scalp. So, yeah, I don't want to complain too much about my uh, irrigation installation because I'm not in a good mood about it, but I've got it running properly. I don't know why I hired people if I can do it better myself, but that's it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so they, for whatever stupid reason, decided not to cut down through the bed, even though I said cut down through the bed because I don't want the lines in the lawn. I just want that one set of lines in the lawn, the rest of it must be against walls, still obviously in the ground. Um, I don't want lines in the lawn. So that one is very easy to sort of monitor and keep an eye on. The rest is not so much. Anyway, they decided to cut all the way along the flipping edge of this garden bed. Now I'm complaining, I said I didn't want to, but they cut all the way down. You can see the trench is still trying to recover. See that, all the way down. They actually followed it in like a big wavy curve, trying to use up more park. Geniuses. Anyway, then they teed off to there for whatever reason to get to a sprinkler head. This is a tough idea. Eh? Uh, and then down into the corner. I then decided, bugger that idea. So after they left, after I paid them, um, because I, but based on the videos that they gave me, obviously I was working, so they were digging these trenches when I was out. Um, everything looked to be fine. Only did I notice later, well, only to notice later on that it was really not good at all. So I cut a new line out here myself. So that's a new trench getting to that part, a proper deep one, and the rest of the lines run against the wall like that. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a concern. What is that? I think that's termites or ants. No, there they are there, black ants. So anyway, yeah, the yard is looking a little bit worse for where we had some rain last night. I'm not sure how much it was. Uh, it looks to be three or four mils. So the grass is just slightly damp. We're still getting good rain at the moment. We've still got bloody hot temperatures. Yesterday was 39 degrees on my stoop. Um, so I'm not afraid of sculping right now, except for weeds popping up. Remember when you've got ideal growing conditions and then you open up the turf canopy, you're gonna have weeds germinate. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give it this light sculpt again, just check how much I want to reset bar, uh, because the last three mows did actually help quite a lot with just reducing that sponginess. And then I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna give it its uh, autumn feed already. Um, and yeah, just give it a bit of a good old kick in the backside. Yeah, that's what the lawn's looking like at the moment. Not so great, but you know, growing. And then the rest of the yard. And of course I've started planting in the beds now. That was only from last weekend. Might as well give you this little catch up. You can see the segment is four minutes long on its own which would annoy the crap out of me if I was watching it. So sorry for that. And then you can see now I've put in uh, some lavender. This is that French Royal something or the other version. So it's a slightly more expensive version, but it's better looking to me. And I've started cleaning out this bed. I've laid some bricks here to sort of keep things in check. I don't know what I want to do in the future with it, but this is what I'm going with for now. The one lavender died, um, but it's rooted. so. I'm not sure if it's just not happy with having been transplanted, but I can leave it on the ground and see what happens over the next couple of weeks. This was only last weekend. The rest of them have actually started flowering, so they're fine. So that's that. 
And yeah, I think that's enough catch up. Let's, um, let's just get to mowing. Okay, so that's just a single pass done. Uh, blooming hot outside. Nice sauna-like feeling after last night's rain. Anyway, it's looking okay. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. The, the last couple of mows, which I never managed to get a video out on, um, they did help quite a lot with the thatch. Now that I'm actually getting stuck into the mow and not just walking around and feeling it underfoot, it is definitely quite a lot better. The Bermuda, though, is it's so brown in the depths of the thatch that I think you need to keep it well not I think you it's a known fact you need to keep it a bit shorter than Kukui or you're going to have that brown look sort of staring you in the face a bit more often so what I'm going to do now I'm going to run over the lawn again diagonally maybe just do a bit of coloring in in certain places but I don't think I'm going to mow a third and a fourth time because uh, I am starting to cook out here I need to take a bit of a break and uh, also Frankenstein my uh my clutch lever. Uh, I never cleaned Frankenstein after that last mow. So 41 days. It's been looking a bit worse for wear. And now my clutch lever needs to be readjusted because even when I disengage, the blade is still running, which is incredibly dangerous. Um, so yeah, I need to adjust that guy. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the mow and then I'll give this guy a proper clean and uh, maybe, maybe also service. Okay, let's mow some more. Pretty solid mow. Um, some areas could have been colored in a few more times, but overall, that's a pretty solid mow. I'm, I'm getting a, a good sort of uh, hold on the turf surface, so I don't feel like I'm drifting or floating around or like I'm walking on a sponge anymore. Um, slightly thicker than I'm used to, but I, th I think this is where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, I might come back again tomorrow and give it another mow, uh, or at least sometime during the week in the evening. I'll come and just whack it again before the garden service comes through. They're usually on Wednesdays. Then I'll do it again definitely before or on next uh, Saturday. So hopefully another two or three more sessions before the next seven days are up. What I'm going to do now is um, just look at it from a different angle. You can tell the Bermuda how it looks. Really sculpt. And over there as well, really sculpt versus the Kukuyu, a bit patchy. I'm going to whack it now with a good dose. I'm thinking three kilograms of Novatec NMAX per 100 square meters. Remember, going into autumn uh, for us and the half it means we still have pretty good temperatures. We still got relatively good rain, but rain will start to decrease towards uh, winter, whereas in the Cape, it will start to increase towards winter. Um, and obviously, temperatures decrease. Um, what that means for us and the half is that we still got a pretty good shot of having a brilliant lawn over the rest of February, March, April, and May. And then May, it should start to kind of taper off depending on what sort of region you're in and if you've got um, like I've got a borehole so I can irrigate through winter um, if needed and so I get I stay a bit greener for longer and I'm in Pretoria so I will be greener for longer so yeah let's see if we can get the grass give the grass its final push before winter uh, autumn really starts to kick in and uh, yeah now's the time Charlie's getting old now but still likes to run in the lawn all right so for the entire area i put down three good loads of that so on my last counts man that's like seven and a half kilograms give or take over this whole area now what i haven't done though is I haven't re-measured the exact lawn area after removing the flower beds. It's not that much, um, but I must go and do that again. But I would, I would say I'm about at about a little bit over the three kilograms 
or around the three kilograms per 100 square meter mark by using three container or three little spreader loads uh, over the whole area. So that's including the bottom, which I usually never used to fertilize. But now as I'm mowing into it, that's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna hit the irrigation on. And even though I've got an installed automated irrigation system because just one of the many problems that I've had with it, my little Rainbird RC2 is faulty out the box. So it's gone back to the supplier, but because I installed it and scratched it when I installed it, now they don't want to just give me another one. They want to go and check the thing and confirm warranty and all the rest of it. So I'll keep you posted on that because I'm already the Murin with this installation. You can tell. For those of you who don't know what the Murin means, ask some South Africans in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the Murin because I've, for man, it must have been two years since I last cleaned my Hunter sprinklers, which also have been running straight off the borehole with pups with you know dogs have been eaten into them the, the sand always running through those things and two years i never had to clean my hunter um, filters i put in the rainbirds and all of them are clogged uh, i've had to clean them twice now so i've put a nice big proper um you know inline um filter before you know straight out of the ball hole that goes through the filter now a nice little uh, agricultural grade one and uh, yeah, let's hope that that helps me now moving forward. It seems to have on the last couple of sessions, but you know, we don't know. Um, yeah, I've had these little rotors get stuck. They don't want to turn. Uh, half of them look like they've got a urinary tract infection. They don't want to pee properly. And then some of the other ones are going fine. It's been a pain in my backside. And then the flipping uh, irrigation controller doesn't want to hold time. So I don't know. Yeah, and I had four out of the eight valves brand spanking you turn them on four of them are noisy one was not so noisy enough that i wanted to take it back so i took back three out of the eight then you replaced one solenoid because that one wasn't worth intolerance but basically four of them running perfect whisper quiet when you listen to them you can hear a little bit of a what i consider a normal solenoid hum and the other four noisy one buzzing that the neighbors heard it they reported they thought that i had an electrical fire uh, when that thing fired up they're like hey you got something noise in the background and i said i oh, know don't worry i'll get it fixed took it in they replaced that one solenoid the other two they said were with intolerance so i've got still four noisy-ish solenoids and four that are not noisy and i'm measuring voltage current impedance everything to the t so they're all measuring perfectly fine so i'm going to trust what the manufacturer said because the the guy from rainbird was on the phone with the supplier says to me perfectly fine don't worry about it run your stuff so you guys will know <laughs> if it's not because so far uh yeah so far i'm not entirely happy one thing though those uh, rainbird 5000 series that rain curtain effect looks great when it sprays water it really does seem to give me good coverage with using very little uh, water output it doesn't need much pressure remember my borehole only puts out about 2.8 bars uh, and pumps about 75 liters a minute on average it sometimes goes a bit higher than that um so yeah let's see let's see anyway let me go get the irrigation on and we'll call this video at that thanks for watching like subscribe share this with your buddies and we'll see you when this recovers cheers uh, just discovering even more problems i told the guys not to bury these lines because i knew something like this would happen and also i want these lines above ground but look at that i'm gonna have to cut that down right here as well so that's that's why some of my sprinklers weren't keeping up pressure Okay, so that makes sense. Oh, great. Still doing pretty well there. That's four heads on the number five nozzles.